Welcome, Junk and Janine fans. I've got more from the Miami store, Miami bins. So let's dive in. I have a full trunk. I've got to get some of this stuff listed. So let's see what we got. Okay, this is a cowboy shirt. It says Larry Mahan Cowboy Collection. It does have pearl snaps, so I thought, and they're like diamonds, so I don't know. Um, but obviously, I got them at the pound, so it'll sell. Okay, this is Zara, and these are just some white, really nice shorts. Zara. And these are a size large and um, they feel really nice. They've got a side zipper, so I might even try those. Maybe they'd fit me, maybe not, but they're cute. They feel really nice, that was the key. Here is an interesting looking shirt by Chico's. It's a size three. I might keep this too. It kind of looks like me. Chico's. This is the newer style Chico's tag, in case you're wondering. Chico's is one of those bread and butter brands, and it, you know, kind of looks like the holidays. I like it. This is Venus, and it is a size medium. Uh, Venus is actually a Jacksonville company. So we tend to get a lot of that up here. But again, I was in Miami. This is actually, I'm trying to figure it out here, a, looks like a halter um, dress. And it's long, it's a long dress. Um, but I find that Venus sells, so it may not sell right now. It does have this um, eyelet feature. Did I show you the tag? I don't think I did. Venus. They're not just swimsuits. They're um, clothes, too. Now, I got this shirt, and I can't wait to look it up. It's actually Popeye and Friends, Olive and the Gang. And this shirt is by Signal. Yeah, Signal Sports. Um... It is an extra large. But what was cool about this was it's also on the back. And what I really liked was it says 1993 there. So I'm hoping that this is vintage Y2K, one of those really expensive t-shirts that um, all those bin boys look for. And speaking of expensive t-shirts, this is the expensive t-shirt of the day. I found a Grateful Dead tie-dye Egyptian theme liquid blue shirt in an XL, okay? XL. Do you know what that means? That means $250 for a t-shirt. It is on the front and back. It's got these really cute uh, Egyptian motif, and it is the Grateful Dead. And somebody, I think, online said it was like, I don't know, 1993 or something like that. Let me see if there's a date. Oh, 1996, baby. So, $250 for a t-shirt. Look at that cute back, though. A t-shirt, $250. And that was a sold. So, if you're looking for a fancy t-shirt for $250, let me know. All right. Disney Parks. I always pick up Disney Parks. We are in Florida. So, Disney Parks stuff is prevalent in our bins. These are some Mickey Mouse boxers. They probably don't go for too much, but I always pick up Disney Parks because not everybody can buy Disney parks. They're only sold in the parks. So these are XLs. If you need yourself some boxes, let me know. 
I like Lily Pulitzer and this looked like Lily Pulitzer to me. It is not. It is Jamboree 3T. But my sweet little baby granddaughter is about a 2T. But she's growing every day, so I figured I'd get this for her 3T. Speaking of my baby granddaughter, she is a princess. And this was Moana Princess Disney dress. So I don't know if it's pajamas or a dress, but it's cute and it will fit her and she will think she's the bomb. All right, this is Venus again. Look at that. Venus was her name. This is some sort of a halter top also. It's got that neck. It's also like half destroyed, um, but I think it'll sell. Isn't it crazy how things that are destroyed so all right so this was lacoste lacoste is a very expensive brand it's a hoodie sweatshirt kangaroo pocket on the front it did have some paint or something on there but i asked my husband if he thought he could get that out and he said he thinks he can so we'll put that in the wash the wash that's a good one i'm gonna make a wash pile tie dye something oh tie dye little pajama pants by soma i love soma those are cute jeans levi's 505 and they are a size 3830. Can't beat Levi's 505 jeans at the bins. At the bins. I probably paid eh, maybe two dollars. Maybe not. Maybe less. Alright. So this is just an old navy um flannel not flannel thermal underwear style but it was new with tags so i always get new with tags pretty much no matter what it is even old navy this is victoria's secret pink workout top it's kind of got mesh stuff happening um you can kind of see through it and there's the label there's the label sell that for some amount of money. All right, let's see what we got here. Juicy. Do you know Juicy Couture is back? This was like a 90s brand. Um, now they sell it at Kohl's. So if you find the vintage Juicy Couture, I have no idea how to tell that it's vintage. But their original track suit um, velour stuff I hear sells well and it's got this juicy down the side juicy so it's in perfect shape I think it's not the Kohl's one I think it's the old one all right here's another Victoria's Secret pink hoodie with sequins um Victoria's Secret sells you know it's one of those bread and butters um especially with sequins right who doesn't love a good sequin it's a hoodie pullover Sequins, Victoria's Secret. All right, here is a t-shirt. Again, I don't think it's a $250 t-shirt, but it's Badlands from South Dakota. And I thought it was really cute because it says, what does it say? Beware, buffalo dropping. <laughs> I thought that was cute. On, you know you thought it was cute too page page is an ant one of those anthropology little, 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 little start over page that is one of those anthropology um brands and even though they're white jeans they've kind of got cut off hands and they are a size probably way small they say they're the skyline ankle peg um size are you 
27. Um, so we'll give it a whirl. We'll see if they sell. I think they really could use probably a wash and we'll put them in the wash. I really don't say wash that way, guys. I'm just having fun. Okay, so this was cute. It had the original TJ Maxx um, tag on it, so that's what I spied. It said 49, it was marked down to 20. And then, of course, I found it in the bins. And this is Red Carpet, no, Red Carter. Have no idea if it's anything, but again, new with tags. It's a jumpsuit, so it's kind of cute. It's got smocking on the back. Um, so, we shall see. You know what? This needs a wash. I do wash most everything, honestly. That was just maybe a stain treatment pile. This is Banana Republic. I never ever pick up Banana Republic except if it says made with Italian fabric. And this is a really long cardigan button down it feels really nice and it's a size large so it's got a lot going for it cardigan Italian fabric winter time okay so this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren nothing special about this it's just a striped metallic gold shirt I like Ralph Lauren stuff, whether it's Lauren or not Lauren. All right, what do we got here? Pajama bottoms. These are Victoria's Secret pajama bottoms. And they are plaid. They're really kind of cute. They've kind of got this lace hem, which is really cute, very feminine. So, um, yeah. I like Victoria's Secret, as I've told you. This was a little find here. This is a Laurel Birch, Laurel Birch purse. Laurel Birch, I'm sure you know, is famous for her cats. So I'm hoping she sells. I think that's one of her older patterns, so that's really why I probably picked it up. And this little number just popped right out at me. It said, Kate Spade, take me home. It's just a cute little girl's dress. Um, see a little stain on the front. So I'll put that in my husband's uh, laundry pile. It's a three years. So even if the stains don't come out, I'll probably let my granddaughter wear it for bumming around the house in her Kate Spade. I just told you I don't pick up this brand. However, I picked up this brand. Banana Republic Corduroy, size 27. Really don't know why I even picked those up, honestly. But I did. These are cute, Baby Gap overalls. Overalls sell, and even if they're little girls, two years old. Um, May have to wait till spring, but I'll definitely sell those. Oh, let's see. Here's a code I need to get listed. Black Rivet. Have no idea about that brand, but it is kind of a varsity style jacket. So, looked like it was wool. Um, zip up. Yeah, so let's see, what's this made out of? Yeah, wool and rayon. Yeah, so I think that should do well. I always pick up wool if it's not messed up. What is this? What's this? What is this? Oh, somebody threw this back and I thought, you know, I don't think this brand sells anymore, but you know, it was light enough, silence and noise. And it was silk, and um, it's kind of abstract, so it probably cost me 25 cents. If I could find the top of it, that would be great. It's kind of like a tea back 
weird halter top here. So. Must have hit the Victoria's Secret spot because this is another hoodie. But I really liked the back of that. It was really fancy. This hoodie is a zip up though. It's got the little doggy on the front and it's orange. My mother-in-law once told me nobody looks good in orange. So I've never bought anything orange to wear because I never really thought about it before. That's what she said, so I'm going with it. Cable and gauge. Don't normally pick this up, but it was new with tags, originally 60 bucks. And I was shooting for um, anything new with tags for this season because of course the supply chain uh, dilemma of Christmas presents I thought people would be shopping more on Poshmark and they'd want new tags so anybody know I think this is called space dye pattern um, it's a nice sweater nice sweater okay what have we got here all right this is Free people. The tag is kind of yucky. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on the tag. Don't think so. But anyway, it's one of those little metal pieces. Anyway, it was free people. It's got all the things going for it. Tapestry, embroidery, boho tassels, little, I think it's a skirt. Are you a skirt? Are you a skirt? Oh, you are a skirt, girl. You are a skirt. Skirt. I think they call those play suits if they're um, shorts. All right, we're almost down to the bottom of this bag, and that's all I'm going to do today. All right, so this definitely needs a wash. It's just a Ralph Lauren basic. I always pick these up because my son likes to wear them, but that has some serious ring around the collar. May not be able to save that one. Okay, I picked this up. This is Hail Bob. If you're not familiar with Hail Bob, it is a very good seller. Paris, Los Angeles. Anytime you see something that says Paris, you know it's probably good. Silk little cami, Hail Bob. It's very cute. Not really sure why I got this either. It's a little faded out. It is a life is good, but it has a doggy. I like doggies. Probably put that in the wash. Wash. Y'all think I'm crazy. All right, so then this little number popped out at me at the bins. Can't go wrong with the North Face. And it said, outside is my inside. Just a little t-shirt. After the $250 t-shirt, this little North Face t-shirt didn't seem like much. Oops. There we go. Oh, this was cute. This is all just a Land's End shirt. has dolphins on it. So I thought that was cute. Very nautical. A pair of pants. These are joie. Joie. And they are button fly. And they are like a carpenter pants style. Joie. And apparently joie used to sell really well. Now it just sells okay. Um, but it's a very expensive Nordstrom kind of brand. Alright, almost there guys. Hang in with me. Oh, BDG. I should put these up right now because there wasn't, well, I think the party's over. BDG corduroy pants, 30, waist 30, and they're mom jeans. Mom corduroys. Everybody loves some mom corduroys. All right, Janine, hurry up. Almost done. Victoria's Secret hoodie. 
Now this was a shelf pull from Goodwill. So sometimes you hit the bins and they are previously things that, this is kind of like a cover up hoodie, waffle knit. So sometimes they are shelf pulls, meaning they didn't sell at the Goodwill store. Um, and I, I really don't like it when that happens because of course you don't want something that's picked over. However, sometimes you never know, it could have been on that shelf for a day, so before they pulled it. Victoria's Secret little swim bikini top, they always sell, maybe not this time of year. Okay, almost there. What we got here? Eagle Rock, Los Angeles, 1981. It can't be a 1980, well, oh. Okay, so this is Current Elliot. Current Elliot. I've never sold this brand, but I heard people talking about it, so I picked it up. I think Mogi Beth and a few others sell, have sold that. These are family kind of Christmas pajamas, and they are family PJs from Macy's. So I figure maybe somebody, some daddy needs some new Jamie's. Christmas. All right, guys, that was one whole bag. I've got a few more bags, but I will continue this on video number three. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload other um, videos trying to build my tribe. I sell a lot of jewelry. I love Goodwill mystery boxes. I love going to the bins. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks. Bye.